The church was definitely ordained by Christ not to be a religious sect of feuding people, but of a governmental structure that will go into all of society and be like leaven and leaven all of society. In other words, spread throughout the nations. That's why I said disciple all nations. Disciple means teach them my ways. Bring them up in me. Let them learn of my ways. See, dispensationalism has cut this out of the church completely for the most part. We, get, we say, well, we need to get them born again. But while we're getting them born again, they, they're backsliding, they're falling away because they're not being discipled. Meanwhile, you've got universalism, and you've got um, Islam, you've got Wicca, you've got different types of spiritualism, and all different types of religions and, that are, are discipling the minds, and especially even, even secular humanism and atheism, people who just say they don't even believe in God, are discipling nations discipling people and we the church has just been waiting for the rapture come on guys we gotta snap out of it that is not what Jesus taught <laughs> it's not it's just not there we can we can take out of 1st Thessalonians 4 1st Corinthians 15 looking at the resurrection of the dead and claim that that is the secret catching away before seven-year tribulation but the Bible does not teach that the Bible does not teach a seven-year period. There is what we might could see a three-and-a-half-year period in the book of Revelation, but never a seven-year period. It is not taught. You might be surprised to hear that, but to study for yourself is not in the book of Revelation. The seven-year period of tribulation is actually taken from the book of Daniel, and it's called Daniel's 70th week. There were 69 weeks mentioned, and then after the 69th week, which was the time Christ the Messiah was cut off, um, dispensationalists put us again in that parenthetical time set where we're now on pause through 2,000 years of history waiting for Jesus to return, rapture us, which will then start back the clock and put us into the 70th week. But I, I don't know. It just goes against everything I was taught. When I went to school, I was... And well, my mom taught me how to count before I ever went to school. And I learned that after 6 comes 7, after 7 comes 8, after 8 comes 9, after 69 comes 70. Not 70 and You know, we don't say, well, 70, 71 and 1 8, 7. You know, it's just not practical. It's not biblical, proper interpretation of hermeneutics. We will be honest with Scripture and interpret Scripture in light of Scripture. We will have great, great understanding as we allow the Holy Spirit to breathe upon us in these coming days. The next, the next thing here that we look at is number five. Christ will return secretly to rapture his saints before the great tribulation. Well, I've already talked about that. And obviously, I don't believe that. Obviously, it goes against what I believe the Bible clearly teaches and what and you might some of you know what I'm talking about some of you may be asking well what are you talking about well what it is is called the preterist view and you got to understand something about dispensationalism dispensationalism has not been around very long it started basically in the 19th century a man named John Darby was introduced to a young girl named Mary MacDonald Mary MacDonald had a secret revelation of what she said was a vision of a secret catching away, a.k.a. the rapture. She taught this to John Darby. John Darby, in turn, began to teach this. Influenced a man named Schofield. Schofield writes a Bible. You've heard the Schofield Bible. It influenced the Assemblies of God in, in the 19, early 1900s when, after the Zuzu Street Revival when, and different denominations sprung forth from that. And what we found, the Four Square Church, different denominations that sprung forth, and dispensationalism went right into the Sons of God and began to spread across the nation. So you're looking at a teaching that was, I believe, an assignment of the enemy to distract the church from her mission on earth to redeem earth through the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's been a mission to put us on a path of, that's totally misguided and misunderstood of what the Lord actually taught us to do. Discipling nations. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom, working miracles, signs, and wonders, being able to heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead. Anytime Jesus, Jesus didn't go teach on healing, Jesus didn't have to go teach on deliverance, Jesus didn't have to go teach a seven day seminar on raising the dead, especially when and I'm not even getting to that. But what he did is he preached the message, the gospel of the kingdom of God. 
and the sick were healed, the dead were raised, devils were cast out, the gospel was preached to the poor, people were influenced to the point that they were conquered, they changed, they came into alignment with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Phenomenal what the Lord did. Phenomenal what Jesus did. We take it for granted and we put him in some faraway place, but he's now seated on the throne of his father David at the right hand of God, ruling from the, ruling from the mountain of God, ruling over Zion on the church. Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to stop right there for today. I want to, I'm going to pick back up on this. Hopefully when I pick back up on this, um, I will be able to go straight into the interview I'm going to be doing with Pastor Wayne Kane. Um, he's also the man who wrote the forward in, in my latest book here, um, The Dominion Mandate. Um, I want you to get a copy of that. It will help you. It's full of revelation. I believe that it will be a blessing to you. And again, if you you can go on, go to www.eaglefireministries.com. You can buy it there or you can just download it for free, a PDF file, onto your computer and you can read it. Well, you you just you have a blessed day. I pray right now that just the Lord will fill you with the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Him, and that in everything you do, you will walk near, closer into the fullness of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.